Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel IT Planet. If this video is helpful to you, then don't forget to hit like button and subscribe the channel IT Planet. Here on this channel, you will get the exercise solutions of your computer book. So today in this video, we will see the exercise solution of class 7, chapter number 6, Internet Ethics and Safeguard. In that first, tick the correct answer. Number one question, software that installs on our computer without our consent is spyware. That software is known as spyware. The correct answer is spyware. Second number one, uh, second, second one, pop-up ads are irritating while web browsing and can also install viruses on our computer. So the answer is pop-up ads. Number three, cookie is a small text message that a browser saves to keep track of website. So cookie, answer is cookie. Cyber bullying, cyber bullying is a harassment that takes place using technology. And the number five, social engineering is the art of convincing people to reveal confidential information. <laughs> Let's see question number B that is true false. So first, first statement, internet is one of the largest networks that link millions or trillions of computers. This statement is true. Second statement, we should never click on links in email messages even if we know the sender. This is false statement. If sender is known to you, then you can click on the links. Then number three, uh, vulnerabilities are flaws in computer software that weaken the security of computer. Yes, this is true statement. Spam involves sending important messages to a large number of recipients. This, is, this statement is also true. And the last statement, we should click on yes when our web browser asks to remember the password. This is false statement. We should not press yes button. Next, fill in the blanks. Here are the answers in green color. Viruses are the programs which are created deliberately to damage data. Keyloggers records are keystrokes to enter the data in the computer in a hidden file. Number three, hacker refers to someone who accesses a computer or network illegally. Number four, every time we surf the internet, we leave a trail behind known as digital footprint. Number five, parents should advise children to create strong password for every account. These are fill in the blanks answer. Num next, question number D, differentiate between the following. We have to write the difference between email spam and phishing. Yes, the email spam, also known as junk mail, involves sending unwanted messages by a spammer to a large number of recipients. And phishing, phishing is a scam in which we receive an official or legitimate looking email message that attempts to obtain our personal and our financial information. Second difference we have to write between hacker and cracker. So hacker refers to someone who accesses a computer or network illegally. This can happen either for positive or negative reasons. And cracker, cracker is someone who also accesses a computer or a network illegally but has the intent of destroying data, stealing information or carry out other malicious actions. So cracker jo hote, would injure hote as compared to hacker. Because unka intention kya hota hai sirf aapka data chura. Next question answer in one to two sentences. What is cyber bullying? Cyber bullying is harassment that takes place using technology, which includes 
sending or forwarding threatening text messages, posting embarrassing or altered pictures of someone without his or her permission. What is social engineering? Social engineering is a term used for gaining unauthorized access or obtaining confidential information by taking advantage of the trusting human nature of some victims. So these are the answers of one to two sentences question. And most importantly friends, don't forget to subscribe the channel. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe the channel. Next question number F, answer briefly. In that first question, how can we protect our computer from hacking? We should make a strong password and change it frequently. Our password should be at least 6 characters long and include at least one number. Later, combination of upper and lower cases and special characters such as at the rate, asterisk and explanation marks etc. Our latest password should be different from any other passwords that we have used. It is strongly advised that we use different passwords for all the different accounts. Question number two, why should we not save passwords of our account in a particular website? And the answer will be, we should not save password of an account in a particular website because in future, anyone else who uses our computer might also be able to access our account from the site without our permission. And the question number three, Write any two roles of parents and teachers in protecting the children in the virtual world. And the answer? Parents should advise children to play only those online games which are suitable for their age. Parents should advise children not to share any personal information to any unknown person. And the last question that is application based question. Your teacher wants you to read this case and tell the answer. And let's see what is the case. A man calls in company's help desk and says that he has forgotten his password. He further adds that if he missed to send an urgent mail by the evening, his boss might fire him. Fire him means who also jobs in call dega. The help text worker trusts him and quickly reveals or receives the password. Under which potential threat can this come? So the answer of this question will be this potential threat can come under social engineering. The answer is social engineering. So friends, this is the exercise solution of class 7 chapter 6. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video. Thank you and bye bye. Take care.